plug into thing, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I really don't like the noise it makes. What is this? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting today with my hair in a towel and that is because I'm gonna be doing my hair on camera with this. This Revlon all-in-one hair dryer styler thing has been around for a while actually, but last year it went absolutely crazy on TikTok and everyone was doing their hair with this. I've seen it all over the place. I don't know how I've managed to resist buying it until now because I do love testing a good hair tool. And as you guys I'm sure know if you've watched some of my previous videos, I'm a big fan of the Dyson Air app. I use that a lot, but if I can find something that's a more affordable option that can still make my hair really nice, I kind of want to test it for you. Obviously this is nothing like the Dyson Air app, but it is just basically a big brush hair dryer that is supposed to give you the look of like a salon blow dry. This was actually on offer for Black Friday and it still actually is on offer for Black Friday. Somebody did message me and say that it was in Asda for 20 quid, but on Amazon it was reduced from 60 pounds to 30 pounds, so I thought, you know what, there's no better time. I'm gonna test it. This is the original one, I believe. I think they did come out with a new one where they've got like a detachable head. I was a little bit confused because in the listing for this, it said that it had like four different speed settings. So I kind of thought that this was the new one, but it's not, it's the original. This is what it looks like. It's pretty big. It's actually a lot bigger than I was ex expecting. The handle is huge. Towel dry hair to remove excess water. That is what I've done. My hair's been in the towel for at least an hour. Comb it through with a brush to untangle. Styling hair will be faster if it is slightly damp, not wet. Right, so what they're saying is I should probably roughly dry my hair with a hairdryer, even though it's supposed to be a one step kind of thing. Plug into thing, blah, 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 blah. Use high setting on thick or coarse hair and low setting on fine or thin hair. For smooth blow dryers, place the hairdryer close to the roots and brush down towards the ends. For voluminous blow dryers, place the dryer under the hair, close to the roots and roll outwards towards the end. For extra lift at the roots, hold the hairdryer for two to three seconds under the roots. Also apparently if the heat gets too hot it will automatically shut off which is always a good sign. So let's see is the cable a decent length? Yeah you know what that's a decent length cable. Two and a half meters let's plug it in. I do find with my hair though, like even when I'm using my air wrap, to get the smoothest results, I do actually sort of style my hair with the round brush from it being like this wet. My hair is naturally wavy and it does get really, really frizzy as well. I'm just gonna spray it with some of this uh, Bumble and Bubble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, which is also the heat and UV protective primer. But it's sort of like the texture of a leave-in conditioner. So I always spray this before I brush through my hair. Also, I'm pretty sure that since washing my hair a couple times, since I got it dyed the other day, I think most of the darker colour that I had in my hair has actually washed out now, which is such a shame, but I guess that was guaranteed to happen. If anyone wants a bit of hair brushing ASMR. You're welcome. Normally, when I'm doing my hair, from start to finish, it probably takes me about half an hour to uh, like dry it and curl it with my air up and everything. So let's see how long this takes me. So the one thing that I did see a few people sort of complaining about with this particular model, which is the original, the cheaper one, is that I don't think the head comes off. So it's harder to sort of clean this section if you get a whole load of like hair and product build up on it. Whereas I believe with the newer model, you can actually remove the head. Okay, so we have got a cold setting. <laughs> I really don't like the noise it makes. I really hate it. It is really noisy. Okay, and then the uh, the first heat setting. All right, it's getting quite warm. And then, okay, as soon as I did that hotter one, it already smells a bit like burning plastic. <laughs> I'm also gonna put in a little bit of this uh, Color Wow Dream Cocktail Kale Infused Breakage, reduces hair breakage by 50%. That <laughs> sounds good to me. So I'm just very roughly gonna section it. Is this section too big? I don't know. Let's try it on the low heat first. So I'll hold it at the root. I have a feeling this could take a while. 
You know what? It's definitely getting there. Bonus points. I really actually like how big the brush head is. I was joking about how big the whole thing is in general, but it actually can grip like this whole underneath section of hair. It grips a lot better than my Dyson does. And also because the bristles are a lot longer, it really sort of like holds your hair in place, which is great. And it feels sturdy enough. Like it's not going to bend. Let's keep going. I'm going to turn up the heat and the noise apparently. definitely works. My hair feels dry. I probably spent about three minutes just on this one piece because I was like really tr testing out all the modes and stuff. Right, let me just start a timer. Stopwatch. It's going. I'm just going to keep going um, on the hottest setting. <laughs> to like hold it in place. It doesn't feel very cold. Ooh. Right, so a couple things. Something that's actually really strange is that at my very roots here, yeah, you can actually see my hair feels dry, but it just feels greasy. For some reason on this side, it feels greasy at my roots, which I do get some, sometimes with my air wrap, with the regular sort of like drying brush. And I don't actually know why that is. One thing that I could think of is that maybe it's sort of like pulling the hair products that I had through the ends of my hair, through the rest of my hair. However, I didn't spray that much. And usually with like the round brush attachment on my air wrap, I don't have that issue. But with like the regular brush attachment I do, which is really odd. I'm gonna put those pieces to the back that I have already done. And then we'll start working on the rest of my hair. It seems to be doing a pretty good job at like smoothing it out, which is great. Also, it's not too heavy. Like it definitely feels weighty and sturdy, but it's not too heavy. And also I like how it's got this bit on the top, which is like a cooling bit. So you can sort of hold onto it. But the cons so far, it is quite noisy. The cool setting doesn't get very cold. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna split this side into two. You do have to make sure that you've like brushed through your hair and everything because otherwise you don't want it to get all stuck. I kind of thought that it would get more stuck than it has. I thought it probably would have ripped out some of my hair by now, but uh, so far so good. Yeah, that, that, this part doesn't feel as greasy as the other side. How weird is that? I'm just going to say now, this is definitely quicker than when I usually do my hair. Uh, how long have we, we been going for? The stopwatch has only been going for 12 minutes since I did those first bits of my hair. And I was talking a bit in between, so. That has done a pretty good job. The only thing I'm noticing is that because the brush is so big, it's quite hard to get right up to these little bits of my hair that sort of kink and I wanna like fully flatten them out. It's quite hard to actually get to those, but I'm gonna try in a minute because normally what I do with my fringe anyway is I take like both sides and then pull it up like this. So we'll try that in a sec, but so far it's working pretty all right. Timer is on 19 minutes and 17 seconds. I'm gonna stop it there. So that was pretty quick. However, I have a couple concerns. Um, parts of my hair just feel like they're not wet, but they just feel greasy. And I'm really confused as to why. Why does it do that? Yeah, the back of my head just feels really greasy, but it's not damp. I'm just really confused. I would say the rest of my hair looks nice. It's not looking particularly shiny. Like it looks a little, <laughs> a little bit dead in parts, but that is just my hair anyway. I'm just gonna go over my sort of fringe parts because, what is this? And then separate them like this. Oh, that actually worked fine. It's definitely a little bit more difficult. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more difficult just to get to like the really sort of kinky bits underneath. But that did work pretty well. Okay, no, I've definitely still got some darker tones in my hair. Phew, I thought it had all washed out. It definitely feels very sort of 
detangled, which is great. I think it does look quite good. I'm just gonna go over like the ends and stuff again to try and give it a bit more of like a shape. Cause these bits have definitely stayed, but I'm just gonna try and do that with the sort of the front pieces. Maybe do these ones inwards, these ones outwards. So I'm holding it here for a few seconds and then I'm gonna switch to the key mode. The only thing is, I find that when I do this kind of thing to my hair, it doesn't tend to stay like this for very long. I guess maybe it would stay more easily if I had, to, if I put some hairspray in it or something, or maybe if I put mousse in at the start, but I don't really like how mousse makes my hair feel. It's definitely worked. Um, some of the pros are that it was quick. Because the brush head is so big, it's nearly the size of my face. It was a lot quicker to actually dry my hair compared to the air wrap where the attachment is like this big. It grips a lot of your hair so it can take quite a lot of your hair at the same time if you get what I mean. I believe the more new model has got four different settings instead of just the three. The only thing is with the cool setting when you do switch it to that from the high heat it doesn't really cool down so I guess it's better than not having that setting at all. Please let me know what you think. What do you think my hair looks like? I think it looks nice. It looks shiny on camera, but I do have my big lights in front of me. But you know what? It's actually done a very good job at taming the frizz. But my only thing that is putting me off this is that my hair just feels greasy, like especially underneath, and I'm not entirely sure why. Considering I only paid 30 quid for it, I think the results are pretty good for the price. My hair doesn't feel completely frazzled. It still feels quite smooth. Um, I didn't sort of feel like it was getting way too hot, which is good. I'm gonna try flipping my hair upside down and then flipping it back up again. Yep, I definitely have some more volume. Can you sort of see how these flicky bits are starting to sort of go back to how my hair was before? I didn't get the most crazy volume with it, but then I didn't brush all of my hair sort of up how it suggested if you want the crazy volume. Forgive the fact that the lighting isn't very good, but this is what my hair looks like it's now midnight and I did my hair at about four o'clock this afternoon. So it still actually looks pretty good. Like the curl has stayed a little bit in the ends and with my sort of fringy bits, um, there's still a little bit of a flick going on, but it is a little bit more straight. Um, and I've got a little bit more frizz just here, but overall, I did just give it a quick brush. Overall, I think it, it's pretty decent. If you guys have tried that, please let me know. I will leave it linked down below. I will leave the original and the latest version. The latest one is more expensive. Yeah, maybe go down to Asda and see if they've got it for 20 quid because somebody told me that they found it and left that. I'm just going to answer a question of the day. And if you guys have got any questions for me, leave them down below. With the hashtag question of the day, it can literally be about anything at all. Also, I would just like to give a shout out to Elizabeth Robinson, who actually commented on my previous video saying, just letting you know that the Revlon One Step Hair Dry Brush is on offer in August from £60 down to 30 Really good deal considering how popular it's been on TikTok this year. So thank you, Elizabeth. You were the one that prompted me to have a little look around and then I found it on Amazon for the same deal. Today's question of the day comes from Brittany Swaggerty great name and she said not gonna stop commenting this until i get a response hashtag question of the day has anyone ever told you you look like sabrina carpenter yes quite a few people have actually which i'm very very flattered by i've actually done a whole video where i recreated sabrina carpenter's instagram pictures because i used to get that so often not so much anymore but um yeah i used to get that quite a lot on my videos and they've also said do you have any tattoos and where are they if you don't have any what would you get and where would you get it you must be new here so welcome and thank you for your comment um yes i do have three tattoos i've got one on my ribs which is some elephants it is a good few years old now and there's four elephants and they represent my family members i've got one on is it the back of oh no wait this one i've got this one on my arm which is a little arrow and in the middle it says continue which means to keep going in french and that one is in my mum's handwriting Writing, and then I've also got <laughs> let me just get my arm out um try and not get naked can you see this little one here it's just a little a I've got an a on the back of my arm which is in my brother's handwriting my brother's called Andrew and it's his initial but it's also an a to represent pretty little liars which was my favorite tv show of all time and I watched it for seven years and then when it finished I was like Fuck it, I'm gonna go get an A tattoo, but I'm gonna get it in my brother's handwriting so that it has more meaning. Next on my list is to get one in my dad's writing somewhere. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in 2022. I need to make my mind up. The only reason I haven't done that yet is because I just can't decide what I want to get written in his writing. But yes, that will be my next tattoo. And honestly, I would love more tattoos. I'm just very indecisive. But then at the same time, as soon as I have the idea, I'm like, okay, I want it today. Let's go, let's go get 
get it. And then I get really impatient because I usually have to wait like a, a couple weeks for the tattoo booking. I would love more. So yeah, we'll, we'll see, watch this space. I just think life is too short not to get a tattoo. I am gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Let me know if there's any other hair tools that you wanna see me test because I love testing them. I will leave this one linked down below and I am now gonna go and enjoy the rest of my day with my pretty decent hair that looks a lot better than it did at the start. I hope you guys are doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.